day, viewers at Embassy Direct. Today, we continue with interviews to members of our network. Today, with the pleasant presence of Mr. Sean Farrell from Golf Guys. How are you, Sean, today? I'm Roger Giga. Thanks very much for having me. A pleasure. So, Sean, please introduce your brand and um, what's your role in, in it? Cool. Um, uh, my brand is called Golf Guys. We are 15 years old. Um, I was a professional golfer for a long time, also 15 years, and uh, evolved into a golf business. We started with value adds at golf days, looking after corporates, and that is now um, kind of evolved into golf day management, full procurement, um, and now into golf tours and tourism. So we really have kind of gotten very lateral in the golf space. Um, uh, each year has been quite interesting, um, but we, we live our brand, we're passionate about it, we have fun doing what we do. Um, so yeah, it's uh, 15 years old and hopefully growing. That's great. And, and tell us, um, how did you connect it with Embassy Direct? What motivated you to join us? So um, through Ron McKenzie, obviously Embassy Direct, um, we believe that golf is a unique sport in that you know you can play golf until you very life. It's fantastic for entertaining guests, for clients, obviously your uh, international guests. So from our side, we feel that we have an offering from one or two golfers wanting to get out and explore South Africa playing golf right through to big groups. So from that side, we we literally take care on from a corporate side from small numbers right through to inbound golf tours so i think the the fit for us is fantastic and obviously the awareness for inbound tourism through embassy direct is right where we want to be yes one of our main viewers and readers are from the foreign diplomatic community missions that are established here in south africa as you all were aware of uh, South Africa has one of the most affordable uh, fees uh, as when it comes to, to, to golf playing. Uh, especially the heads of mission from Southeast Asia, uh, Japan, and Europe. They love to come here and, 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 and have the opportunity, those that are golfers, have the opportunity to enjoy golf here. So what is your offer for that community uh, through, through our network, Sean? So, so again, I think one of the things that a lot of the inbound tourists are maybe worried about is, you know, just the safety. So we have a vehicle now that we've um, converted. So basically we've got, uh, you know, our staff can take the guests off the beaten track, play golf do, in, in full safety. So, you, you, know, it's a, you know, you manage when you get here. Um, they can they can feel that they're safe. They can play golf. They can go on wine tours. We look after them. So from a, from the diplomatic side of things, you know, if it's a, if it's a case of wanting to get out, explore the country, play some golf, you know, we can hold their hand through that. We can arrange it. We can organize pro golfers to join them, spice up their tour. You know, we generally start with the client first, ask what their wish list is, and then we customize that. So we're definitely not a plug and play. We, we want to know what their bucket list is, where they'd like to play, do they want to play with a pro, do they need lessons, would they like to start playing golf? All of those things fall in, under the umbrella of what we offer um, as, a, as a very service-based little company. And many of these missions, by the way, they organize every year their own golf days. So I, I'm sure that you also get involved on, on them, no? Yes, so golf days is how we started our business. We are we are linked and part owned by some of the biggest uh, golf companies in South Africa. So we guarantee we'll save them money and add value. So generally, you know, we'll ask what they've spent before and what they've received on the day. And we, we feel like we can almost double that value uh, without costing them any more. So we really feel that because we have so many line items to offer, we really can spice up these events. Um, and ultimately, these golf days are a lot more, more work than they think. So all the client has to do is invite their guests, sign off their logo, and come and enjoy the day. So that's really where we, that's our event management part of things, which um, we've been doing for 15 years. Yes. And golf guys have been part of the Embassy Direct family for a while. 
tell me how has been your experience in regards to connecting with other members in the franchise? Yeah, so we've been, I think we've been with Embassy Direct. This is going on our third year. We obviously have a little bit of a blip with um, COVID in the last sort of 16 months where I think obviously everyone's had a little bit of a pause. But um, yeah, the, the networking is fantastic. I think, you know, like anything, once, um, once, the, once we've been tried and tested, then, you know, the, the business continues. So we've had clients that have never left us to touch wood and never will. But you always have to come up with new and more exciting things. So we're always on our toes to make sure that what someone is looking for, we can offer. If we can't offer it, we find it. But uh, yeah, certainly through Ron and his team, um, I think the opportunities to network have been great. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. And lastly, could you please share a motivational message for our viewers uh, after this uh, month uh, of difficulties and challenges? Yeah, so just speaking from a golf point of view, um, so the lockdowns of COVID have made... Um, a lot of golfers realize that this is a sport that they have missed. So individual golf is literally up 50% across South Africa on memberships. Um, corporate golf hasn't come back yet because we're still not sure, you know, how many more waves you've still got to go. But I have a feeling that golf is going to be substantially up, which means that tourism, golf tourism, is all going to, also going to find its way on the nice upward trend. So, you know, while most of us in tourism have had a tough time for the last year and a half, I really do think that the upswing is going to be fantastic and South Africa is always going to be a bucket list. So, yeah, I think the future looks promising. Thanks so much, uh, Sean, for being us, uh, with us today and sharing uh, this important information about golf guys and what you guys do. Have a good day. Great, thank you. Thanks.